We have breaking news right now. Authorities are on the scene of a horse farm. This is in Hialeah. It's all connected to a man arrested for illegally selling horse meat. Local 10 News reporter Hatzel Vela is live at that farm to tell us more. Hatzel. Christy Jennings, I can tell you that police have been here all morning long and they just left a couple of minutes ago, but this is the property that we're talking about and the suspect is Manuel Coto Martinez, 70 year old, uh, charged now with illegally selling horse meat. Let's take you to some video from the sky. Sky 10 over the scene earlier, the state attorney's office saying that calling this the first successful infiltration into a close knit and secretive world of an illegal horse meat operation in Miami Dade County. It was a secret informant that told police what and where it was happening. Let's show you a picture of the actual horse meat that police say was being sold on November 10th. An undercover detective bought 20 pounds of horse meat for $140 from Coto Martinez, they say. That's $7 a pound. The suspect was told the horse meat was for a child with an anemia, I should say. Apparently, it is a common belief that horse meat can cure and help people with anemia and other ailments and local 10 as you've seen before in this file video has done stories in the past oftentimes in southwest miami dade where residents have found the remains of horses which are slaughtered but investigators say that it's always hard to track but this is a first we just heard from the brother of the suspect in this case telling us things about his brother what he says happened really here let's hear from him <laughs> Let me step in your live shot. All right, so that was the brother of the suspect in this case in Spanish telling us that his brother has nothing to do with this, has lived in this country for 50 years, and that he is innocent. Uh, this gentleman has now been booked into jail. We're waiting to get a mug from him. Also likely will go through bond court this afternoon. For now, reporting live in Hialeah, Hatsovella, Local 10 News.